so spread the news Cause we're leaving today I mean the Bahamas are incredible aren't they? Holy crap! If we hang out in these places long enough we will hit one of these coral heads one day Last Monday, we arrived here in Staniel Key, a part of the Exumas here in the Bahamas. We dove the incredible Thunderball Grotto. Tell me all about you, tell me all about the And we met some less than charming Bahamian pigs that stole our rubbish. Well, I'm not very happy. And whilst I was collecting rubbish, this other one snuck up behind me and bit me on the leg. <gasps> oh, oh, babe! Unbelievable. What are we doing this morning? Ah, uh, we're just gonna move around closer to the island. Oh, and check in. We gotta check in still. <laughs> we're not very good at that, are we? Just gonna go in between these two rocks here. I don't know what this boat is doing. No. What are you doing, mister? I am. Um, you have a rip in your pants. Do what? <laughs> yeah, another rip. All of my pants have got holes in. Can you show me your pig butt? <laughs> Let's show everyone. Oh! <laughs> no. Bitten by a pig. So what's happened? Well, you can't check in here. We tried. I'm stoked. I hate checking in. We do it in Nassau. We'll end up getting in trouble, no doubt. So that was our only chance at um, using the Wi-Fi and checking the weather. So, stop it! And we really need to check the weather. We just met... Ah! Okay! We just met these people. <laughs> and they told us that, that there's a weather warning in Florida. Like an emergency weather Thank warning. You. So. We have no idea what they're talking about. Gotta get on the internet. Is this restaurant open? Doesn't look it. No? Thanks, mate. That's what, you better watch your step, boy. No, thank you. You better watch your step. You see all them shit I run over last night? Shit I run over last night? Just jumped in the car with old mate. And he had one beer that he was ha only halfway through and he had another with the top off ready to roll on the dashboard. And I was like, okay. And then uh, he just started screaming at people as we went past. It was pretty harmless, but roaring drunk. <laughs> it's not even, not even midday. What? That's gigantic. Look at that one just snoozing on the rock. Nurse sharks are all over Staniel Key. They're really tame here as most days they're interacting with people in the shallows. We'd actually seen a few of them under La Vagabond, so before we'd leave Staniel Key today, we jumped in for a swim with them. We're going to Norman Key, which is about 35 nautical miles north of here, Ross. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh, there's a little plane. How are we feeling this morning? Good. Yeah? Yeah, fine. It'd be good to go for a bit of a sail. That place is... I mean, the Bahamas are incredible, aren't they? 
but um we've only been to two places but <laughs> so far we're impressed well i don't know if you consider the turks and caicos bahamas i think technically they are this is way better than turks mm. sorry dad we are about to get thrown around like anything in a second it's not as gnarly as the two motos so far but the boat's gonna be going bonkers holy crap Shit, 2.8 meters. Oh. Come on, the vagabond. I hate that. You can try to tell me wow. what I'm looking for. You can hold your hand over my sweet mouth, and I will know what's in store. So we've just arrived here um, to our little anchorage, dropped anchor and um, we are starving. We've just like ran out of food. <laughs> I'll actually show you what's left in the food. Plant milk, some cheese, one tomato, some Brussels sprouts, which we seem to be dodging. Yeah, we're starving so we've decided to trek it um, on land. We can tie off our dinghy over here, there's a jetty. And um, I think it's a one nautical mile walk to the nearest restaurant. Not sure what it's gonna be like, but we're gonna give it a go. Must eat. I swear I will never get sick at looking at this water. It's just crazy. Yeah, so some kind of construction, or they could be harvesting the sand. Like, it's not called harvesting though, but sand is it? Is it? <laughs> Gathering the sand and selling it, shipping it The Barbuda. Off. So it's going to come the restaurant, it's two miles away. And we just bumped into the guy, Kirby. Say hello. hello. <laughs> and he offered to give us a lift in here. So what is this thing? It's an ATV, a Polaris. Okay, I like it. <laughs> and um, he actually works at the restaurant, so that's very convenient. Beautiful. I'm a bit concerned about what the bill might end up being, but you take the good with the bad, don't you? Look at the seats. We're gonna go have a look at the beach. There's a little pathway. So spread the news Cause we're leaving today So it's about 40 nautical miles across the Exuma Bank and we're just going to take turns being on watch and just we have to keep an eye out for bombies but they're pretty easy to spot because the water's so clear we'll hoist the mine an Italian word for butterfly is that right that's how I when I first got the boat in Italy a guy took pity on me and took me out sailing that was um Paolo Paolo the Magnificent so yeah we've got um, the head sail out to starboard and this one is swung out to the port side so the wind is directly behind us which is I don't think we've ever done that before on this boat have we no nah. yeah. never been quite so calm because we're quite a fast vessel you're better if you can bring it on on a beam and then bring your apparent wind forward and generate your own wind 
but um, we don't want to be going too fast today because we're on the Exuma bank and uh, we don't want to be doing 15 knots and run, in, <laughs> run into a bommy. No. We're in the Bahamas and then Florida and then we're going to come back to the Bahamas and I don't know how long we'll stay here but I'm really, really enjoying myself. I didn't quite realise how many fish there were around here. Uh, like, I'd like to do more of it ourselves and... Do what? Catch fish and be sort of getting as close to living off the land as, as we can be. So all we really need is groceries every now and then, gas for cooking and diesel. Yeah. I want to go around here and catch some crabs and lobsters and all sorts of fish and... Eat what the locals eat. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to hanging around the Bahamas for a while. I just jived this way because there's a cloud coming over. So we're, we're heading for Yellow Bank and we jive this way to, and that this cloud will now pass over here and then we'll jive back. Because of that, we'll be able to have sun for the whole time above our heads so that we can avoid these uh, coral heads and also um, we'll slide in between White Bank and Yellow Bank. What have you spotted? I've just seen a few little coral heads. They're very, very obvious. We got one just here, a big one. One there. If we hang out in these places long enough, we will hit one of these coral heads one day. Like, it's just, it'll just happen. Like if you're here for 10 years, you're guaranteed to hit one. We're not staying here for 10 years. <laughs> no, I'm, ju I'm just saying like, <laughs> Where on your first run over, like you're petrified. Mm. Like th these are these are very different colours to what we were dealing with in the Pacific. There, it was very obvious when there was a coral head. Here, because I think uh, we should actually probably go to port or starboard. There's two rocks ahead. Sorry. So we've nearly done it. We're just um, sailing along the north coast of Nassau now. Oh my god! Probably just dacked me. You ass. Hold my camera. Don't film me. So as I was saying, we need to check into the country. I need to upload a video. Um, and we're leaving tomorrow to Florida to go meet up with our patrons. So um, it's going to be an overnight sail to Florida. And we want to get there a few days early to prepare for them. And I don't think I've given you guys a baby update in a long time. So um, you might notice a little bump forming on the belly. So I'm three and a bit months pregnant. And um, yeah, just starting to get a little bump and it's really exciting my belly button looks weird yeah, let me film. <laughs> yeah we'll let Riley film definitely something brewing there I can't wait for it to be big like to actually actually have some evidence of there being a baby so I just found in the head sail and I'm wondering when we're gonna drop the main sail main sail so sail up to the dock no way Jose that's something that you would do. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and here he goes. I don't need to look, I just wait till I hear a flap. Whoa. I don't know, it's hard for me to tell. Well, that was interesting. So we went into um, the harbour here and then we went to go under the bridge and uh, we only knew how high it was in feet. And I think I got a shot of it actually. We just stuck the boat in reverse and I was like, we should probably not try and go under this bridge. The last thing we want is for the mast to come down. So we didn't attempt to go under the bridge without knowing the height. It's just so hard, hard to judge the height. I didn't want to be the one to say, um, let's do it. And then for that to happen to the mast. <laughs> We knew the height of the bridge in feet but not metres. We know the height of the mast in metres but not feet. We don't have a, con a... Conversion thing. I think it's pretty close. And we had a bit of a look at it and we, we were both like, nah, not gonna, not gonna risk it. So we've had to turn around and come out. We'll have to go all the way around the island. The wind's died. We need to get there before the... Um, before the... Uh, sun dies down so we can get into our anchorage because all the time you're dodging these coral heads so we've got to get around the other side of the island before the sun sets all this just to check in you're really tired aren't you
<laughs> I'll leave you alone. All right. Good night, everyone. Say good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next Monday as we continue island hopping our way west through the night where we get one step closer to Florida and our lovely patrons. <laughs>